Application security, domain six. This one domain you could probably consider to be a bottomless pit. The application security is the most important area of information security. Applications help drive the business or the mission of the government agency. The CISSP professional needs to be familiar with the controls that are within the application system itself and also the surrounding controls such as the operating system controls that we highlighted in the security architecture and design module, another part of the course. First of all, we want to make sure we're in the right ballpark in terms of defining just what is an application, what are its moving parts. Those can be agents, applets, software, databases, data warehouses, knowledge-based systems, and of course, the data itself. And these applications can be distributed, scattered all over your organization, or they could be totally housed in a centralized computing environment, such as the traditional mainframe or legacy environment that many people still use in addition to distributed computing. Software, this is what applications are all about. They are an asset, you gotta protect them. Remember we talked about making sure our reference monitor is tamper resistant, tamper proof actually, and that applies to both application software as well as operating or system software. Software is a tool that's used to facilitate users effectively using their data to run the organization. And we need to have the appropriate vulnerabilities addressed and removed. And sometimes vulnerabilities are just a result of someone not properly configuring the system according to specifications or industry standards, which also puts the organization at risk. Now, in further expanding upon your knowledge objectives in application security and preparing for the CISSP exam, you need to understand the security and controls of the system development process, the life cycles, the application controls that are built in and properly deployed, change control. Over time, applications change. Also, when we go offline, if you will, things such as data warehousing and data mining, knowledge-based systems come into play they may still house very important data. They're not production per se, like a data warehouse, but there may be very sensitive data that if it leaks, your organization could be in very big trouble. A CISSP hopeful needs to be familiar with the basic procedures and concepts of how programs work. For example, in another part of the course, we talked about compiled languages versus assembly languages versus interpreted languages. You don't need to be an expert programmer to be a CISSP. There's no requirement within the common body of knowledge, the background of the CISSP, that you're an expert on COBOL or C language or VB.net or anything like that, but you do need to understand good and bad programming practices and how to basically mitigate them in terms of risks that emanate from them. So let's take a look at our agenda in the application module. First of all, we need to review the process that's used to initially develop and also modify applications. This is the software life cycle. So we're gonna look at the system development process, also testing and change control. Very critical points to make sure that the security is in good order, there's no unauthorized changes, that all changes are tested. We also wanna look at the cornerstone of all business applications in today's world, the database. Now the database is a production repository that stores the data that can be accessed by a lot of users simultaneously. A data warehouse is an offline database so the analysts can analyze the data without upsetting the production environment. 